Did you know that there are over 150 moons in our solar system? But out of all of those moons, there's just one we see shining bright in our night sky. But hey, why this one? Well, even though our moon is far, far away, 384,400 kilometers to be specific, that's like lining 30 Earths in a row. It's still our closest celestial neighbor. So if we could hop on a rocket and fly that distance, guess what we would see? We would see our silent dusty companion, the moon. Now, how big is the moon? It's way smaller than the Earth. The Earth's diameter, it's about 12,756 kilometers. But the moon, that's just 3,475 kilometers, one fourth of the Earth's diameter. So if you think of the Earth as a football, the moon would be a tennis ball. It's tiny compared to the Earth, but still massive enough to be seen from far, far away. Now the next question is, what does the moon look like? Basically, what's on the moon's surface? The moon is completely covered in grey dust and rocks, like a giant desert with no wind. And if we look closer, we would spot thousands of bowl-like holes all over it. These are craters and no, they weren't dug up. They were smashed in by meteoroids, comets and asteroids crashing onto the moon for millions of years. One of them is the South Pole Aitken Basin. It's about 8 kilometers deep, which means the Mount Everest could fit inside it. And here's the fun part. Since there's no atmosphere, no wind, no rain and no life on the moon, these craters, they never get erased. Now the next question is, is there any water on the moon? Well, there's no flowing water like rivers or oceans, but scientists have found tiny traces of frozen water hiding in shady parts of the moon. But hey, that's about what the moon looks like on the outside. What's inside the moon? Come, let's find out. Let's imagine slicing the moon like a cake. A very rocky one though. At the center of the moon is the iron core. It's hot and dense. Around it is a mantle full of minerals like magnesium and silicon. And the crust, as we know, the part that we see, is all dust and rock. Now let's move on to a super interesting question. How does the moon move? And for that, let's zoom out a bit. From space, we would see the moon orbiting the earth just like the earth orbits the sun. But here's something cool. The moon's path isn't a perfect circle. It's elliptical. So on some days, the moon is closer to earth. And on others, it's farther away. And guess what? As the moon revolves, it also rotates, that is, turns around itself, somewhat like this, okay, somewhat like this, at the exact same speed that it revolves around Earth. And that is why we always see the same side of the moon from Earth. Imagine walking in a circle around your friend while always facing the inside. That's what the moon does with us. The moon isn't just something to look at. We have actually been there. In 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon. He took three days to get there and left behind footprints that are still there today. Again, why? Because no wind, no rain ever came to wash them away. India too has its fair share of moon adventures. Chandrayaan 1, 2 and 3 all sent by ISRO to study the moon closely. Chandrayaan 3 even managed to land near the moon's south pole, something no other country has done before. And it's safe to say that the journey has just begun. So the next time you look up at the moon, remember, it's not just a glowing ball in the sky. It's our closest celestial neighbor and a history book written in craters. 
and who knows maybe one day you might leave your footprints up there too.